And so lastly, what we have is per predictive maintenance. And predictive maintenance allows you to help determine the condition of service equipment in order to predict when a maintenance when maintenance should be performed. And again, this approach typically promises cost savings over routine or time-based preventative maintenance because tasks are performed only when they're needed. And let's see an example of this, of predictive maintenance. Going back to that HVAC, we've got sensors installed in this HVAC machine telling us the operating efficiency and also the expected efficiency that could tell us when we need to replace those filters. So over time, obviously, you know, those filters become clogged. And if we have sensors in this HVAC machine that tell us the operating efficiency, we can see exactly when it becomes more cost beneficial to us to replace those filters. And so why is it good? Why is it bad? Predictive maintenance is typically more expensive to set up than you know, just a, uh, you know, waiting until something breaks down, which is literally zero setup, um, and also a little bit more expensive than doing preventative maintenance, at least in the short term. On the long term, however, predictive maintenance allows you to approach maintenance only when it's needed, so that you can see trends over time and track when something should be maintained. And this really helps out with not over maintaining a piece of equipment on a scheduled basis. And that typically, that happens quite often because we're not always sure whether it's three months, four months, two months to, to create a uh, preventative maintenance work order. With predictive maintenance, we can see exactly when we need to um, have that maintenance um, work order generated. And so yeah, thanks so much for watching. That's kind of the breakdown between preventative, predictive, and breakdown maintenance. Thanks for watching.